So one question StarCraft people always ask to other StarCraft people once they visit Korea is what does Hot 6 taste like? So I figured that I'd do an entire video basically covering all of the Hot 6s, at least that I could find. Maybe I'm missing some, but we have the original Hot 6 that you might have seen over the last decade of StarCraft, and then the new stuff that's been advertised on some of the more recent GSLs. The other question that gets asked is, can you find Hot 6 in America or just generally overseas? So far, I actually have not been able to find it. I actually live near a couple of Korea towns, so it's not like I don't have anything that's imported from Korea around me to check out. I have a lot of stuff and I've never seen Hot 6 elsewhere. So that might be different in other states, but I think the amount of times I've seen people ask and the amount of answers that I've seen, it's always been no, it's hard to find. You might have to order it online and get it shipped to you directly. Yeah, it seems like it's a very much Korea special and GSL special, so I know it's special to a lot of StarCraft players' hearts. So let's dive in to the first Hot 6 energy drink, which is going to be the original. Again, you've probably seen this over the decade uh, that Hot 6 has been sponsoring. Maybe not a decade, maybe it wasn't you know, his entire StarCraft career, but they've been sponsoring GSL for a very long time and remain the most consistent one anyways. Uh, I think they might be the only one directly sponsoring. Uh, but let's pop it open. Again, these are energy drinks. So we get a nice little close up there, see exactly what it looks like. And this is the uh, it's original, the original one. So let's go. I have had Hot 6 before, but since it's been three years since I last went to Korea, I actually kind of forgot what the original tasted like. And it pretty much is as I remember. It's not a very overpowering energy drink taste or even sweetness to it, but it is definitely sweet. I guess, I don't even know what, what other energy drink it's really closest to. Maybe like a light monster taste, like monster zero taste. But even that's not really, I don't know, it's it's sweeter but subtler as well. So it's it's hard to explain, but it kind of would be like if they crushed up Smarties, that is American Smarties, the powdered candy, and then yeah, diluted it with a bunch of water uh, and added, I guess, a bunch of other chemicals into it. But it's it's nice actually, like legitimately, I don't have to say this, right? Like Hot Six doesn't sponsor me personally. I've always liked the taste of Hot 6, and the original, I think, is is the way to go. But we'll see what these other brand new The King Hot 6 energy drinks taste like as well. So just because I have to have an order, I'm going to go from my left to my right. And on my far left, I do have The King Force, which is the low-calorie version, I guess. I think there's two or three low-calorie ones. I think, uh, and we'll, we'll take an overview afterwards, but this is one of the low calorie ones. The King Force, I would probably just call it the King White if I was trying to explain to someone. Yeah, it's like 20 calories, and then it has all the, you know, benefits on the back. You might be wondering, like, do they usually put English randomly all around advertisements? Pretty much. So I don't, I don't know exactly why, but you can kind of figure out what you're drinking or eating, I guess. And if you couldn't tell, it is uh, much bigger as well than the kind of normal, original Hot 6. I think it's more expensive as well, but not by very much. Okay, okay. So this is like a suppressed taste. Definitely, in my opinion, it tastes, it tastes faker. You know what I mean. Like, it's hard to explain what fake tastes like, but just it's kind of flat. It's like a carbonated energy drink that went flat. Um, so, I mean, it is carbonated technically. You guys heard the pop. But the actual taste is flat. A bit different than a, a different sweet taste than the original Hot Six as well. Maybe I'm gonna order these in the order of what I like best. So, so far, the original Hot Six is gonna go to the far left, and then this one's okay. I mean, it's palatable, but it just, it's, yeah, it just tastes kind of flat. It tastes more like a fruit juice. There you go. It tastes more like a fruit juice uh, than an actual carbonated soda energy drink type situation, but just not a very, good fruit juice. And continuing to go right here, we have the, uh, I guess, teal can. It's the Hot Six Rush. Uh, again, these now are similar. All these, like, the King ones are similar sizes. And this one is also low calorie, being 15 calories. As far as I can tell, there's no other distinguishing features. They don't tell you, like, what flavor it is. It's just called Rush. Okay, but it is teal, and if you had to guess what flavor it was. You might guess that it's um, like fruity, tropical type situation, and, and that's exactly what it is. They tried to hit something tropical uh, with this one, and they kind of did. 
Again, just not, not as flat as, as the Force and maybe even preferable right now. Just because it has something more to it. The last one that I drank was kind of, was also kind of flat in terms of just the amount of taste that it had. It kind of hit you on the back and then that was kind of all you got. This one is at least flavorful all the way through, but I don't know. Yeah, still, I think, yeah, it's preferable to the white one. So I'm gonna put it in front for now. Now we get on to this one, the King Zero, or Hot Six Black is what I would call it again. This one is zero as in, I'm assuming like zero sugar or zero calories. It's technically not, it's technically 10 calories uh, or K cows, I guess, saying it wrong. But still, I don't know why it's zero. Uh, could be the technical definition of when food has a low enough calorie count. You can say that it's calorie free. I don't know, but it's, it's called zero. I mean, not like the other ones made any sense. Rush, force, power. This one just happens to be named Zero. Mmm. Okay, even before I took a sip, I could smell the flavor, which, I mean, sometimes a good thing. I don't know if this is a good thing. It's kind of a more along the lines of the teal one, in terms of, I guess, the amount of flavor, uh, but not as much of like a tropical taste, you know? And by tropical, I guess that it's kind of a, a vague word, but you know that it's usually a vague description of things that are labeled tropical flavor. It's just a whole mix of, I guess, mango, papaya type of stuff. But anyways, this one, I mean, maybe more like a, just like a fruit basket, <laughs> some berries um, mushed together. Uh, and again, more flavorful than the white one, but also that kind of fake tasting thing that, I mean, it happens with most energy drinks, right? Towards the back end of it. But again, better than the white one. And you know what? I think it is, personally, I find it better than the teal one as well. So we're gonna bump this one up here. And the last, but we'll see if it is least, it is the King Power. So the blue one. By the way, all of this Hangul on the bottom does not help me with the flavors. It is, it is just literally, it says like hot six. Uh, the King Power. But in Korean way of translating English. Let's see what it tastes like. I'm sure if I could read the actual ingredients in the back, there'd be something like, you know, berry flavoring or something like that, but nope, can't do that. So all I know is that it is MACA, caffeine, and taurine, which uh, all things usual to an energy drink. This one also doesn't uh, reduce any of the calories, so it's 170 kcal, which let's be real, nine times out of 10, something that has calories is gonna be better than without calories. Let's see if that's true. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much true. It doesn't have that kind of flat, like, is there a taste? Did this go flat as a drink? This tastes fake. A uh, situation that, you know, the, the, the non-calorie dense drinks are just generally going to have. I mean, there are some calorie light drinks that I think are quite good. Like I quite like uh, Monster White, but yeah, I mean, this one just, it was bound to be a little bit better. Now the question for me is, is it better or the same as the Hot Six Energy Drink? Cause it kind of it kind of tastes the same. So here we go, just casually, fill a fist and some some energy drinks. Okay. They taste very similar, very similar. There is something different, but I feel like I need like a palate cleanser between the two to really distinguish the finer notes. Uh, otherwise, these are very similar. I do wonder if they are the same thing, just coming in different sizes, because again, the king is just a uh, bigger. I'm gonna do it again, hold on. There is a slight difference. I'm thinking this one's less sweet than this one. And this one's not even all that sweet to begin with, in my opinion, although it is a sweetness that I like. So that might be clouding my judgment. So I think I have the order. Now for me, as much as I do like Monster White, the size of the energy drink sometimes is very annoying. Like I am not actually going full gamer mode on most of these things. So I actually prefer the smaller one, even if that might also mean that I'm not getting the most uh, bang for my buck. But yeah, I think I've, I've figured out the order here of what I prefer. So we're gonna go with the OG being first. And then we have Kicking Power, which uh, again is very similar between the two. And then the black or zero, which had a sweet berry-like flavor, but kind of flat, not really all that delicious. Then the tropical flavor attempt. 
And then the, I don't even know what this would have been called flavor attempt wise, but yeah, the, the white one. I think that's the order that I'm officially going with guys. But yeah, that's my taste test for all of the hot six energy drinks. Again, one of the longstanding sponsors of GSL and something that foreigners are always interested in. So I think as far as that goes, GSL has been an effective advertisement for bringing people over to Korea or getting them to bring over to uh, GSL at the very least. Tons of people that I've talked to the last three weeks have been talking about being over here for work and then just saying, you know what, let's just stick around for a little while longer or let's make sure to go to GSL. And almost everyone, when they go out to get a drink during a break, it is coming back with a hot six. Uh, I mean, they're, they're pretty good. Again, preferring the, the original one. So it's pretty good, but I think it just is effective advertisement. We just appreciate the fact that they've been sponsoring Korean StarCraft for so long. So if you guys are interested in them, again, they're found in Korea at all convenience stores. Finding every single type might be a bit more difficult to do, but I actually have not really had all that much trouble. The only time I couldn't find one was because it was actually sold out, which I don't think is usually a problem. But yeah, it's super easy to find. And now hopefully you know a little bit more about Hot 6 because it's always one of those big questions for StarCraft fans. So yeah, come, come by Korea one day, one time, and then try out this at the very least. I would suggest this one. And then if you want to be adventurous, try the other ones. So hopefully this was fun to watch and you guys know a little bit more about Korea in the process. So thanks for watching everyone. See you later. I do have one bonus thing though, okay? So people who wanna stick around past the hot six, you mentioned convenience stores, what else in the world can you find in convenience stores in Korea? Well, I've got videos coming for that on my travel channel. I did decide to go ahead and buy this monstrosity, uh, which is a burger, um, but it's a, you know, call, calling it a burger would be, uh, I don't know, not giving due credit to burgers. So this is a Spam egg and I believe like a spicy mayo onion burger. <laughs> Again, I don't know about burger. And this was uh, about $3 at the convenience store. You microwave it and you get this beautiful thing. So I thought you guys would enjoy some of the weirder sides of Korean cuisine. Not that this is actually Korean, of course, but it's what they sell. So let's try it. Oh, it's so, it's so soft and not in a good way. Mmm, <laughs> mmm. You know what? I don't think these flavors would necessarily be bad altogether. I think a lot of people who don't live in a spam heavy area, it's like Hawaii appreciates spam and Korea appreciates spam. They might be just be grossing out the idea of spam. Spam is not that bad. But combination of everything, it's kind of disturbing, even for me, and I think I'm quite adventurous. It's the fact that this is a microwave burger, I think, that really makes it texture-wise a little questionable. But that's what you're going to get when you go to a convenience store. Amazing what they come up with. All right. Yeah, just a good example. So I hope you enjoyed the extra minute tacked on here. As you watch me eat this super, super delicious food. Again, check this out. Look at it. Appreciate it. All right, see ya.